Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News, and it's 4.30 in the morning, and it's time to do a little beer review, and uh, we're looking for something a little special, so let's uh, take a visit with our little friends, the Belgians, shall we? I believe this is Belgian, I'll have to check it out a little bit more, but this is Pink Blossom, Blossom, so it's Pink Blossom Belgian Ale, brewed with pear syrup and honey. Very interesting. And of course it's been imported by the Sheldon Brothers of Bleachertown, Massachusetts. Um, they've been brewing since 1878. This is a product of Belgium. Comes in at 7.1% alcohol by volume. Okay. Produced and bottled by Brewery Craycomb from Sin. Trudin, Belgium. Sintruden, Belgium. And the brewery is Kirkholm. So there you go. Um, it's a family op operated brewery built into an rambling farmhouse surrounded by Belgium, Belgium's best cherry orchards. That's excellent. Brewer Mark Lehmann, saddened by the gradually decreasing interest in hoppy traditional beers among Belgian breweries, has determined has determined single-handedly to bring real hops back into Belgian brewing. All right, hopefully you can hear all that jibber jab Rose is making, but this, um, and I don't know if this is going to be hoppy per se, but this just has a flat red cap on it, but it smells hoppy. Look at that. Look at that, would you? What a lovely look. This looks like a very well done, almost double IPA. It's kind of dark. Look at that nice big frothy head. Big bubbles in the middle. Carbonation wise, yeah, we got a little bit of Belgian carbonation whistling around right in here. Check that out. Oh yeah, pears. Ooh, sweet honey. Definitely like toffee and bread notes. I'm almost getting faint hints of like a, a toast. Man. This is a fruit bowl salad too. I mean, there's a lot of fruit notes going on in this thing. A lot of sweet characteristics. This seems very interesting. All right, cheers. It's a lot more refined on the taste. I was actually over waiting to get punched in the face with a thousand sweet notes at the same time. But it finishes remarkably dry and finishes bread. You are getting wafts of the pear and the honey notes wrapping around each other while it's going down your face. Um, slight malt base to it. You're getting a nice kind of a toffee in the malt. Really easy to drink. You would never tell this is seven. This is really easy to drink. You're getting floral, floral aromas coming off this. So it's kind of like wildflower honey mixed with pear. The nose is really, you didn't know, I didn't expect, you know, to have a nice easy drinkable ale because the nose is just so abundant in overripe like sweet nose. Mm. But this is wow, this is really well done. Wow. Let's see if we got sediment. Chuck that in there. Up to the light. Oh yeah. She's cloudy now. She 
He's Belgian cloudy now. No chunks. Just pure sediment. We still got some nice spice characteristics and nice overripe sweetness with this fruits and, sh and sugars and honey. I prefer a lot of these without the sediment. Like, I prefer this one, for instance, just without the sediment. But uh, it's still good. It's still good. It just takes away a little bit of that, those ripe sweet tones that I, I enjoy. It seems to, to dry everything out a little bit. Let me check the time. Oh, we got plenty of time. We got plenty of time. This is a steamer. I like this. Oh, this is especially for um, any one that doesn't really care for beer too much, but like sweeter things. They'd love this. They'd love this. It's a chicky drink, I guess you'd call it. But it's a wonderfully well done Belgian ale, so it's not really a chicky drink. <laughs> Ooh. Tell you what it is though. Dangerous. Dangerous. <laughs> I could just keep pouring this and keep drinking it. Dangerous. I I'm gonna give this one a 9.5. Definitely give this. I mean it, it delivers. It really delivers. It's very unique. It really well done on the Belgian aspects. It delivers exactly what you think it would deliver from the packaging, from the artwork, from the description. What a steamer. What a nice one. Okay, I'd love to get some more of this. This has been Paul from PA Brew News with the Bink Blossom from, was it, uh, Krikom Brewery in Belgium? 9.5. Cheers.